old guy in Colorado. Doodah. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, all my YouTube family, it's good to see you. <laughs> so, old guy is here and I have to because really, homages to Mrs. Old Guy, yada yada yada, so on and so forth. Make sure you're okay. <laughs> so today I'm going to do kind of a twist on beef fajitas. A little bit different. So, Mrs. Old Guy, come on in here. I've got about, oh, about a pound and a half of uh, beef bottom round roast that I sliced up really thin. I'm going to just throw that into a bowl here. Oh, this is getting good. I can, I can feel it. <laughs> in here I've got uh, about a tablespoon of chili powder. Throw that in. Got, um, oh, well I did have <laughs> a little bit of Cuban right there. Let me see if I can uh, pick that up. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. Well, there's most of it. Okay, so a little bit of cumin. <laughs> just a very little tad of cinnamon. Some black pepper. Some salt. A little bit of uh, oregano. And I'm going to juice in the juice from this uh, good size lime. Here. And I'm going to let this kind of sit here and just kind of sit and macerate for a little while and let these flavors sort of marry and then I've got some veg and so forth here in a minute we'll get that cooking first I just want to get this rocking hope you're all having a good day I have had an excellent day all right I'm going to get this mixed in here real well make sure that it's all coated in real, real nicely. I'll just let this kind of sit for, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes, just so it has time to marry in there. It's super thin, so it's going to penetrate that meat pretty quickly. All right, so we'll be back with the next step. So, okay, we're going to do the veggie part of this now, or we'll get it going anyway. I've got pan here with a little bit of coconut oil, still guy. Outstanding, and we're going to throw this. Got some different colored peppers in here. Give it an onion. And I've got some garlic. Not going to quite add all of that yet. I'm going to reserve a little bit back. I'm going to put the meat in here shortly. Get this saute down some. Add a little salt and pepper, and I'm not going to do a lot of measuring here, just kind of put some on my hand, and go that way with it. I'm going to try and get these caramelized a little bit, I want a little color on them. So we'll be back when we get to that point. Alright, well, I have got just that little bit of color that I'm looking for on there. If I get this cork out, I'm going to add deglaze just a little bit with some white wine. Not a whole lot, just a few tablespoons. Yeah, that's beautiful. Nice color. I'm going to add this. Oh, that almost looked like a brain for a second there. Doesn't that look like a brain? Alright, sorry. Some people like brains though. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna get this mixed in, brown this off, and I'm gonna make a um jalapeno cream sauce to go with this. So I'm going to grab another pan and I'm going to start on that. We'll be right back. Okey doke. So 
I'm um, going to start on the uh, jalapeno cream. I've got some onions. I've got one roasted and peeled Anaheim chili there, just kind of roughly chopped. And I've got, oh, I think there's four or so 85 jalapenos here. And I'm going to saute these up under high heat. I'm going to try and get a little bit of caramelization on there. Then I'll deglaze it with a little bit of white wine and some chicken stock and run it through a blender. So when I get a little closer to doing some of that other stuff, I'll be back. Okay, that's looking and smelling wonderful. I'm going to add the rest of that garlic to this. Glaze now with about a half a cup of chicken sauce. I'm going to let this completely evaporate and cook out. Then I'm going to deglaze again with a little bit of white wine. And we'll be back. Alright, that's chicken stock. Pretty well dried out. I'm gonna deglaze with the white wine. Oh, that smells amazing. Okay, so same thing again. I'm gonna let this completely dry out, and um, when I get to that point, I'll be back and we'll be about ready to make sauce. Okay, so. It's all dried out again. I'm going to get, put back just a little bit of moisture in the water. And I'm going to take it off the heat. And I'm going to come right over into the blender a little bit. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. I'm going to add the juice from a half a lime. And, and oh, I'm going to say about a half a cup of heavy cream. Get this up. I think I'm going to probably add in a little bit of salt too. A teaspoon or so. Blend this up again. Makes a lot of noise, so we'll be back. All right. See you in there. Nice sauce. I'm gonna give it a taste. See if it needs any salt or pepper or anything. Oh. Wow. I'll tell you what it tastes like in a minute. Believe me, it's good. So. Everything is ready now. We're going to plate up and we'll be back. Okay, doesn't that look great? Sure smells good. Okay, and um, uh, I, I opted not to put any cheese on this just because of the cream. I think that's going to give me that kind of mouthfeel that the cheese would give. Yeah, so anyway, I'm going to try this with just uh, some of the veg and the meat first. Savory as heck. Mm. I get a nice kick from the uh, lime and the cilantro. The, uh, the cilantro is good, but the, uh, the cumin and the other spices that I put in there are just right. They're, they're just enough to taste them, but they're not like overly pronounced. I even get just that very little bit of hint of cinnamon. Absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Really good.
good. Now I'll try a bite with this jalapeno cream sauce. Put some of that on the top here. Oh man. Mm. Holy smoke. That, that's an amazing combination right there. Mm. It's not really hot. I mean, I get, I'm getting a little bit of heat from the jalapeno, but it's it's more just a spice than it is a real heat. Really delicious. Um, kind of getting overtones of the wine that's in there and the onion. Wow, this is just just great. The, the wine in there. Let's get a little bite of everything. The rice, meat. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm like going all over here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Not just plain white rice on there. Wow. Mmm. I'll be digging it with this uh, tortilla here in a minute. Mmm. <laughs> if you want to try the full recipe, just email me at the email address down below. In the meantime, I really appreciate you watching. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you next time.